prepositional phrases. I got it. I watched the video. Before we learn that, we have to answer this question. What are prepositions? We can't know what a preposition is. Okay, now tell me, Udit, what is a preposition, Meta? Ma'am, you are not audible. I'm not audible. No, you are not phrases you without knowing what preposition now I'm not audible. Going, you are not audible. I'm, am I now audible? Yes. When the video has stopped, you are audible now. Yes. yes. Okay. Fine. Tell me what is a preposition. Uh, Srujana, tell me what is a preposition. Yes, ma'am. I'm telling. Just one second. Don't look at your book better. Look at the screen and tell me. Anything that you know. Any idea you have on preposition? Can I tell? Wait, come on to just what a second. Give some time to Srujana. Prepositions are the positions. Yes, it explains the position. Excellent, Srujana. Okay, Udit, can you tell me what a preposition? Now can I tell? Yes. Okay, Amartya, tell me what is a preposition? Preposition, connect, one part of the sentence to another part of the sentence. This called, this called a preposition. Very good. It connects one part of the sentence to the other part or it shows the relationship of the noun or pronoun with the other parts of the sentence. Excellent, Amartya. Very good. Okay, would it tell me better what is the Thank preposition? You. you are most welcome, better. The position of noun is called preposition. Very good. Excellent, Udit. Excellent, Rujana. Positions of noun is called uh, preposition. Excellent. Shivam, tell me what is the preposition, better? Positions of nouns are called preposition. Excellent. Rajdeep, can you tell me better what is the preposition? Preposition places noun noun before noun or pronoun before and modify them. Okay, good. Preposition is placed before a noun or a pronoun and helps in the modification. Excellent. Positions are well. Prepositions are connecting words. Oh, it's pretty simple. They're connecting words. Prepositions are. Yes, tell me again, Udit. Prepositions are connecting words. Yes, prepositions are also called connecting words. Excellent. Connecting words that act like bridges, like this bridge. Whoa, wow, what a cool bridge. So, what does preposition do? Preposition actually acts like a bridge between whom? Between the noun or pronoun and rest of the words in the sentence. Is it clear to everyone? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, Amato, can you give me an example of preposition? Anything better? Mm, with, to, in, into. Very good. Excellent, Amato. Can I tell it? Can I tell another example? Yes, yeah, Shivam, tell me. The bird is flying over the over the house. Very good. Under, under. Excellent, Shivam. Excellent, Amurto. Okay, Rajdeep, can you tell me? Yes. Yes, Rujana, tell me. I drank a glass of water. So, which is the preposition here, Bita? Of oh. excellent, Rujana. Okay, Rajdeep, can you tell me better any example of preposition? Rajdeep, the cat, the cat I go to school. Just a second, one at a time. Rajdeep, first you tell me. I go to school. I go to school. Very good. And what is the preposition here, better? Ma'am, two. 
Excellent, Rajdeep. Okay, Udit, can you tell me better an example of preposition? Udit, can you tell me better an example of preposition? The, the cat is uh, sitting under the table. <clears throat> the cat is sitting under the table. Excellent, Udit. A bridge, a bridge can yes under is the preposition excellent next from one side to the next and in a similar way prepositions are connecting words they're like bridges in the word kingdom mr whiskers oh, oh. Uh, what are you doing up right now? You're supposed to be sleeping. You know, you, you're you supposed to, you know, you're supposed to stay up during the night, you know, and sleep during the day, you know, and I don't know what's going on. Okay, now, Omoto, can you tell me an example of a prepositional phrase with this cat? Yes. I can tell you. Tell me better. I am killing the snake with, with the stick. No. I need an example with the cat. That is, the cat will be in your sentence and there will be a prepositional phrase in the sentence. Is, the cat is under the table. Very good. And which is the preposition here, Omoto? First tell me. The cat is under. Under is the Preposition. And which is the prepositional phrase here? The cat is under the table. So which is the prepositional phrase? Tell me. Under the table. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Amartya, yes. it's done. Now, Udit, tell me better. The cat is under the floor. The cat is under the floor. Ground floor, ground floor. Okay, the cat is, then it will be the cat is in the ground floor. Okay, so um, which is the preposition here? In. In, very good. And which is the prepositional phrase here? Would it tell me which is the prepositional phrase here? No. In the, In the ground floor. In the ground floor. Very good. Okay, Rajdeep, tell me better. The box is on the table. The cat is? On the table. Very good. Which is the preposition here, better? Ma'am, on. And which is the prepositional phrase here, Rajdi? The cat is disabled. No, prepositional phrase. Prepositional phrase always starts with the preposition. Which is the preposition? Rajdi, look at me. Yes, look at the screen. Which is the preposition here? The cat is on the table. Which is the preposition? Tell me. Yes, Yes, on the table is the prepositional phrase. Excellent, Rajdeep. Okay. Ud Shivam, can you tell me an example? Yes, sir. I have taxi in our dance class. No, Shivam, I want uh, this thing. I want a cat in your sentence and a prepositional or prepositional phrase in your sentence. Okay. The cat, the cat is playing in the ground. Very good. Which is the preposition here? The cat is playing in the ground. Which is the preposition? Is. No, is is the verb. Which is the preposition? The cat is playing in. In. And which is the preposition? In the park. The cat is playing in. In the park, but in the park is the uh, phrase. Very good. It's in the park is a prepositional phrase. Excellent. 
Okay, Srujana, can you give me an, an example, beta? Yes. The cat is sitting on the rug. Very good. So, which is the prepositional phrase here? On. On. On the table. phrase? Yes, which is the prepositional phrase? On the rug. On the rug. Very good. Okay, Udit, can you give me one example, Vata? Yes, Have you put the cat and the prepositional phrase in your sentence? The cat is... Uh, Look at the screen, Vata. The cat is... The done. cat is sitting on the uh, table. The cat is sitting on the table. Excellent. Which is the prepositional phrase here, Vita? On is the prepositional. On the table is the prepositional phrase. And on is the preposition. Very good. Excellent. Super. <coughs> with your internal clock we're in the middle of talking about prepositions how prepositions are like bridges they're like the bridges of the word kingdom they connect they're connecting words they're great words and i'm, I'm in the middle of the review listen if you'll just hold up we'll play with the special bouncy ball okay and and the little thing with the, the with the string you know and the little feather you know you'll you'll think you're attacking a bird okay can you just wait just a moment so, prepositions are like bridges that connect a noun to the rest of the sentence. For example, we went fishing with Ben. With... Okay, now, uh, Srujana, tell me, which is the preposition here? Which sentence when we went fishing with Ben? Yes. With. And which is the prepositional phrase? With Ben. Excellent. Very good. Is the preposition because it's connecting Ben to the rest of the sentence. We went fishing with Ben. It's connected. Okay. Why is with a preposition? Amorto, tell me. Amorto, can you? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Tell me again. Why is with a preposition? The uh, with is connecting the one part of the um, one part of the sentence to another part of the sentence. We went fishing with the Ben. Can I tell uh, another example? Yes, I'm to show you. Can uh, I am healing the snake with a stick. The with is uh, connect the I'm I'm killing the snake to the um, with a, a stick. So it is actually which is connecting the two parts. It is the preposition. Excellent, Amo. So yes. it is actually connecting the noun to the rest of the sentence. Snake is the noun. Yes, and it is connecting that noun to the rest of the sentence. Excellent, Omoto. Okay. Connecting Ben with the idea of going fishing. We went fishing with Ben. With is a connecting word, a bridge. The word with is a preposition. Now, sometimes a preposition is at the beginning of a sentence, but it still comes before a noun, connecting that noun to the rest of the sentence. Look at this example. After dinner, she read a book. The word after is a preposition. It's connecting the word dinner, the noun, to the... Okay, now Shivam, tell me, which is the preposition here? After. After is the preposition. Why is after a preposition, Shivam? Because after, because if there will be no after, so it will be after is a bridge. And if there will be no after the 
Sadness will be there. She read a book after Easter, so that's why the the sentence is correct. No, she read a book. That the sentence is also correct. Yes, yes. Amato, you are correct. But after she read the daughter, so yes. So if after will be not there, so. It will not look the sentence good. It will look not good the sentence. It will look either their comma that she read a book. So first we have to do a bridge. There we have to well, first we have to write after that dinner that she read. A book. Very good, Shivam. So if we write dinner, she read a book. The sentence will not be complete. It will be an incomplete one. So we are adding after dinner to show me, that time when the uh, when was she reading a book. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes, tell me, Mata Udit. Yeah, the uh, after is the pronoun, but uh, after is not the. Preposition. Why after is not the after is not a pronoun better. After is the preposition here. Pro which is the pronoun? Please tell me. Then the pronoun is he. She is the pronoun. Excellent. She is the pronoun and after is the preposition. Is it clear, Udit? Any other question? Yes, the noun is book. Uh, book. Noun is book. Yes, book is the noun and read is verb. She is pronoun. Would it any other question, beta? No, ma'am. Okay, great. Have you understood, Udit? Why after is a pre? Why after is a preposition? <coughs> Have you understood? Ma'am, why? Ma'am, why after is a preposition? Yes, tell me better why after is the preposition. No, I don't know. You don't know? It's very simple. After is a preposition because it creates a breed or it creates a relationship between the noun or pronoun with the other parts of the sentence. Like it is telling the time. When was she reading a book? She was reading a book after the dinner. Or after dinner, she was reading a book. Is it clear, Udit? Yes, ma'am. Great. The rest of the sentence. She read a book. After dinner, she read a book. It's still a connecting word. It's still a bridge word. It's a preposition, even though it's at the beginning of the sentence. Prepositions can show things like time, place, and movement. <laughs> cool. Yeah, they're really interesting words. So see, what can preposition do? Preposition can show the time, place, and moment. So um, let me start. I am telling an example with time. Let's play a game, okay? I will give a challenge to someone and he or she have to tell me the sentence. First, Rujana. Time. Tell me a sentence showing time in your sentence. Yes, ma'am. Tick-tack one. Tick-tack two. I had gone to the market with my mom yesterday. Excellent. Very good. So, which is the preposition here? Ma'am, with. With is the preposition. Excellent. Okay, now the next one. Udit, tell me a preposition show that will show the place. Uh, I have gone to the the temple today. I have gone to the temple 
today. So, which is the preposition here, Udit? <coughs> Tell me which is preposition. the preposition. Uh, preposition is. Uh, I. No, preposition is not I. I is what? Udit? I is the noun. I is the pronoun. Very good. Which is the preposition? Preposition is O. Uh... Preposition is? Mama, send you something. Yes. Yes, very good. Mm -hmm. Yes, tell me, Udit. I have gone to the market, which is the preposition. Sorry, I have gone to the temple, which is the preposition here. When? Two. 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 Very good. Two. Excellent. Okay. Rujana told me I have gone to the market with my mother. Rujana told me that which is the preposition. Is there any other prepositions, Rujana? Two. Two. Excellent. Very good, Rujana. Very good, Udit. Both of you. Excellent. Amorto, now you tell me one example. Showing movement. Tell me again. One example of the preposition showing the movement. Okay. I I am walking on the street. Ma'am? I'm walking on the street. Okay. Now tell me which is the preposition here? On. Very good. Excellent. Now the next one. You tell me, Shivam. Any mm -hmm. preposition showing the time? I, yes. I and my friend gone to the market at 4 o'clock. I and my friend you told me this. I yes, and my friend had gone when your voice is speaking. Now is it clear I and my friend had gone to the market? Yes. Yes. At, at 4 o'clock. At 4 o'clock. Okay, now tell me which is the preposition here? Two. And two, very good, excellent, super. Okay, now Rajdeep, you tell me better. Any sentence showing place? Any sentence? At four of, at four of clock is... Phrases, preposition phrases. Yes, very good, Shiva. And there is another preposition in the street. Preposition. On the street is a preposition. Just a second. Yes, Shiva, can you tell me there is another uh, preposition in the sentence? You told me two is the preposition. Yes. Another preposition in the sentence is... I and the my no no I is the pronoun not but I and my two and but at 
Yes, very good. It's X. Excellence. Excellence, Rujana. Excellent, Shiva. Okay, Rajdeep, tell me an example with place better. Rajdeep, tell me a sentence with place that will show the place. Yes, Rajdeep, tell me a sentence with place. Rajdeep, can you tell me an example with place? A preposition showing place. That's the unmute yourself and tell me better. Rajdeep, are you there? Okay. Let's move on then. I think Rajdeep has gone somewhere or he may be facing a net. Mom, can I play again? No, it's okay, better. Let's move on. That can do a whole lot. If you want to learn more about prepositions, we have a video that's pretty cool that talks about prepositions in more detail. Okay, let's do some exercises on prepositions. See, this is the prepositional phrase. So, number two, Srujana, can you tell me which is, which is the prepositional phrase here? In the library after school. In the library after school. Is she correct to this? Udit, she told me our teachers are hosting a meeting in the library after school. In library after school is a prepositional phrase. Is she correct? No, ma'am. She is not correct. So, which is the correct prepositional phrase, Beta? Which is the prepositional phrase, Udi? Tell me. A meeting in the library after school. Is, is she correct, Tomoto? Tell me who is correct. Udi is correct or Srujana is correct? Tell me, Amorto, who is correct? Is Udit correct or Srujana is correct? I think Srujana told me that in the library after school, this is the prepositional phrase. Udit told me a meeting in the library after school, this is the prepositional phrase. Now, who is correct, Amorto? I think the first one. In the library. In the library. Okay. Amorto is saying in the library. Shivam, tell me who is correct. Jana is correct. Udit is correct. Amorto is correct. According to Sujana, it's in the library after school. Udit told me in the... Uh, no. Udit told me a meeting in the library after school. According to Amorto, it's in the library. 